Hey, I'm James, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use this, which is the Rodecaster Pro, to broadcast live online radio using the radio.co platform. And we're gonna be also using Virtual DJ as our source for playing music. So let's get started, let's dive in. So if you're new to this channel, uh, my name is James Mulvaney. I'm an entrepreneur working within the audio space. I love creating content like this, talking about live streaming, audio and video, and also stuff on how to really grow your audience and create an online media brand. I'm also founder of radio.co, podcast.co, and matchmaker.fm, all doing incredible things in the online audio and broadcasting spaces, so go and check them out if you like. If you like content like this, please, consider subscribing to this channel because I'm uploading videos every single Friday. Um, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells when, for updates when I'm releasing content. Um, okay, so to talk you through the setup here, I've kind of kept this as simple as possible just so um, we're not getting kind of too confused. I've got the Rodecaster Pro, currently got one microphone set up. This could be any mic. This is the uh, Rode Pod mic. Works really well with this console. I've got this it's connected to fader one. Um, so as you can see, when I'm talking, uh, I've got levels coming up on the desk. I've also got a speaker connected here, uh, a monitor. You normally have a pair of monitors. I've just got one for this demo, um, just to keep things clean. And you could also have up to four pairs of headphones connected to this for you and the guests. Um, just to prove we've got live audio going out of here. We've got some funny sound effects, which we can play. Ha 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 ha, etc. So the idea of today's video is I want to show you how we can get everything which is coming out of this, e.g. what we can hear coming out of our speaker, what we can hear on our headphones, and actually broadcast it out to radio.co. So the first step, um, obviously, once you've got your radio.co account set up, is to download the broadcaster for Windows. And I've got another tutorial which talks specifically about Mac. So once we've downloaded our radio.co broadcaster, we're going to click sign in. We're then gonna give it permission to access our account. So now the main thing to note, as you can see, we're dis disconnected at the moment. Before actually going live and connecting, uh, what we need to do is if we click on settings, and then we need to choose our input. Now currently, it's just set to the default system device, which basically means whatever is going on my computer sound card. So we're actually gonna change that to our Rodecaster Pro setting. Um, we're using the mic built into the channel, uh, built into the Rodecaster, into channel one, so we don't need to worry about specifying a separate microphone on here. Uh, again, happy with all the other settings. Let's hit save. Okay. Okay, so for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be using Virtual DJ, which is a free piece of DJ software. It's pretty good. Um, you can use any software you like. If you're using something like Sound Broadcaster uh, or any other radio playout software, or you're using any kind of DJ software like this, it doesn't matter, the principles are all the same. The main thing we need to remember is we're sending the software, the output from this software, whatever software you're using to DJ or broadcast or play music, to this USB channel on the Rodecaster Pro. So to do this, I'm going into the software configuration options, and again, this will vary depending on the software you're using, but generally speaking, most DJ software will have somewhere where you can route outputs and choose where your audio is being directed to. Now you'll currently see uh, our master is set to the uh, generic sound card, which is in this computer. I want to change that to the Rodecaster Pro and I want to hit apply. Now if I press space here, which is play, and I fade up that channel, you'll see our music is being routed from this software into the Rodecaster Pro. The next thing we're going to do is um, head on to the Rodecaster Pro and configure some of the settings because one of the things I don't want when I'm setting up my radio studio is if my music's playing, I want to make sure that the microphone is up and it actually switches the music off, otherwise you're going to get feedback and that'll give everyone a headache. So in order to automatically mute the output of our studio monitors when we have our microphones faded up, which is really important for radio, uh, we click on settings, uh, we then go to advanced. We then go to audio, we then go to operations, and then we select automatically mute outputs. And we wanna make sure that's toggled on. So once you've done that and you've got your music up, as soon as you turn your microphone on, your monitors will go silent. So that's step number one. Okay, so now we're happy with um, our Rodecaster Pro. Um, and we can see here, we've got levels on our software, which are coming directly from the Rodecaster. 
we can then click connect. Okay, so now we are actually live. We're connected to radio.co. As you can see, we're on air. Everything that goes out through the Rodecaster Pro is now being broadcast live online to radio.co. And it's as simple as that. And this is incredibly versatile setup. Uh, what I really like about this is you can have, as I say, up to four microphones. Perhaps you want to do interviews with guests. You can route in a channel of music through your USB like I'm doing now. But you can also have other sounds being played, perhaps through the sound bank, which we were talking about earlier. Of course, we've got these sort of cheesy built-in sound effects, but these are actually really useful. If you're running a radio station, you could tie background music to these for you to talk over. You could tie your station IDs, your jingles to these buttons and fire them off just with a simple click like that, which is really cool, right? Um, you can also route in callers. You could use your mobile phone via Bluetooth. Uh, there's also another channel here, which kind of is all like an auxiliary channel. So you can even use that uh, as a second channel for your broadcast software or for another computer to play different music, or maybe you've got a cart all set up. It's completely up to you. Now, the Rodecaster isn't always perfect for every radio station. Uh, if you want a proper broadcast desk set up, because in the previous incarnation of this video when I was showing how to broadcast using a Mac, there were a lot of questions about this. I'd say the Rodecaster is great if you're kind of starting a radio station, you want something small, compact, and you want something on a very budget-friendly basis, because proper broadcast desks can run into tens of thousands of dollars or pounds, uh, whereas the Rodecaster Pro sits around sort of $600 mark, so it's perfect for getting started. I'd be more than happy to run a radio show using this desk, um, and it's super kind of compact. You know, it doesn't take a lot of space on your desk. So that's how you do it. That's how you broadcast live to radio.co using the Rodecaster Pro on Windows and our desktop-based broadcasting software. Super simple to do. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to see any other videos like this, um, let me know. I'm always keen to hear what sort of content you guys want me to create. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. What makes the difference between a successful radio station and a failed project? Well, after working with tens of thousands of broadcasters over the past 15 years and helping lots of people start their own radio stations, I see the same mistakes being made time and time again. So what I've done is I've put together a guide called the five step radio startup checklist which really covers everything from concepting your radio station to marketing it. And this guide, I believe, will make the difference between you having a successful venture with longevity and creating something that doesn't quite hit the mark. Go and grab your copy now for free at jamesm.com radio. Just enter your name and your email address and I'll send it over to you straight away. You're going to find it really useful. There's tons of information there which will help you with concepting and launching your brand and bringing it to market.